in this lesson, you are going to explore rectangles with equal areas. So the inside of the rectangle. Last time, you looked at exploring rectangles with equal perimeters, so the outside. So now we're looking at the inside. Um, and so I will share my screen so that you can see what I can see. All right. So exploring rectangles with equal areas. So the units for area has a two. We talked about this last lesson, just in case you forgot. This little two up top, um, it means squared. And so after, so it has that after each unit to show that it is two dimensional instead of one dimensional. So one centimeters squared is how you say that. Not one centimeter two, no. All right, next. In order to find area, you can multiply the length by the width. We talked about this last time too, but just in case you forgot, just find the one, the one uh, width and the one length and multiply them together. So the rectangle on our screen right now, the area would be two times three, so the area would be six. And um, also rectangles with equal areas can have different perimeters. Just like the last lesson, rectangles with different areas can have different perimeters, or I mean the same perimeter. Now we're looking at rectangles with the same area, so the same number of boxes inside of it, but they're different shapes. So something that you need to remember is that rectangles that are long and skinny, like the one up top, have a larger perimeter compared to those with the same area that are closer to a square. So up here we have 16 boxes, down here we have 16 boxes. Um, so they're both 16 centimeters squared, but the perimeter, if you were to count up all, all of this, so all the way along 16, 17, and then 16 plus, or 16 plus one plus 16 plus one, it would be 34 centimeters. And then down here, it's a four by four by four by four. So if you went four plus four plus four plus four, you get 16. So uh, the perimeters are very, very different, but they both have the number, the same number of boxes. So to remember that the longer and skinnier it is, the bigger the perimeter, the, the more it looks like a square, the smaller the perimeter. So let's look at our first example. We're gonna go through two examples. So example one, find all possible rectangles. So we're gonna look for, to draw all possible rectangles with an area of 12 centimeters squared. So that means there's gonna be 12, square, 12 squares inside, like the, the one back there had 16. Um, and so your, your assignment's gonna look something like this. I put a square or whatever, like a little box for you to use on each thing. And um, so to find, we're gonna think what times what equals 12. We're always gonna start with one because we always know one times a number equals itself. So one times 12 equals 12. So we're just gonna click on the box and then we're going to use this middle arrow right here. See how it's a little diagonal arrow or a little um, horizontal arrow. We're gonna move it across. So there's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There we go. So that has an area of twelve. Next up, we're going to go two because this was one. So we're going to try two. Not all areas will have two, but if it's an even number, it will have two. So this does. So we can we can move it down to two first, and then get count by two. So two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Boom. There's our next rectangle with an area of 12. And the last one, we're gonna just, we're gonna try three because that's the next number. One, two, three. I happen to know that three times something equals 12 too. You might know too. Three, six, nine, 12. Boom. And then this is the three and that's a four. And those are super close together. If we were to do another one, it would just be this rectangle, but flipped on its side and that's exactly the same thing. So there are three now. For most of your things, you're gonna be asked to find the perimeter of each of the rectangles that you draw. So we found that, that we drew all rectangles with the area 12, one, two, three. Now we need to find the perimeter. Remember how to do that? We count the um, little pieces on the outside. So one, two, three, four, all the way around. And we are going to end up with 1D6 because I know this is 12 plus one is 13. 13 plus 13 is 26. This one down here, this is going to be 6 plus 2 is 8, and then 8 plus 8 is 16. And this one is going to be 4 plus 3 is 7, and then 7 plus 7 is 14. And there they are right there. So that's 26 centimeters around, 
16 centimeters around and 14 centimeters around. And you'll notice that just like we said before, the longer and skinnier it is, the uh, more perimeter there will be. So let's look at example number two now. Find a rectangle when given the area and perimeter. So there are some questions where you're going to be given a specific area and perimeter, and then you're going to have to uh, figure out what the dimensions of that rectangle are. So I'll show you how to do that because it can be a little bit tricky, but if you know the strategy, it's super easy. So you're going you're gonna to see something like this. You'll have uh, your box to draw um, the rectangle over here. You'll see a chart here um, and the given area and perimeter and then instructions. So it says draw a rectangle with each area and perimeter. Use the chart on the right to help you find the answer. It is much easier if you use the chart. Like when I do these questions, I use the chart. So you use this chart too. So first you want to find the length times the width. I mean, the length and the width. We want to find all possibilities using the perimeter. And so I can't remember if I have the answers. No, I don't have the answers. Okay. So remember that to find the perimeter, we go half of the perimeter and then think of two numbers that one added together equals half of the perimeter. If you haven't learned this yet, make sure you go back and learn the lesson before this because we, we explore that. So now you're using that to do this. So we've got perimeter is 22 and then half of 22 is 11. So we're thinking of two numbers that when added together equals 11. We're always just going to start with one because it's easy and we always know it's going to be there. So one plus what equals 11? One plus 10. Then we go two. Two plus what equals 11? One plus nine. Then we go three. Three plus what equals 11? Eight. You may see a pattern. One, two, three, four, ten, nine, eight, seven. That makes this one five and this one six and then those are one away from each other so we stop there because we wouldn't find anything different so these are all the possible perimeters now we just need to find which one would have the area of 30 centimeters squared so in order to do that remember that finding the area is length times width so now we have all of the possible length times widths and we just need to see which one will equal 30 centimeters squared let me show you. All right, so we go one times 10 is 10. Three times nine is 18. Oops, that's not an 18. Three times eight is 24. If you need to use a multiplication chart to do this, no problem, go ahead. Uh, seven times four is 28, and five times six is 30. So I think you can see potentially that our answer is right there. We're looking for in this area box, we're looking to match with 30. We know all of these already match with 22, so we just need to narrow it down. So we need to find which one, and it is this last one. We need to draw a rectangle that is five by six because it will have an area of 30 and a perimeter of 22. So we just grab this here, and it doesn't matter which way is five and which way is six, as long as one is five and one is six, um, but we'll go one, two, three, wait, that's four, five, six. Don't forget to count the one that it's already on. And then this is six, I mean, one, two, three, four, five. And there's our rectangle. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. So that's 30 squares inside. Then if you were to count to the outside, it'd be 22. Did I have the same? Yep, there we go. And that's what it looks like. <laughs> All right, so that's the basics of it. Um, definitely watch this explanation again if that was a little fuzzy. Um, watching a second time will definitely help you there if uh, if that didn't make a lot of sense. But um, I definitely enjoy finding those rectangles. So if you like a challenge or to just think outside the box, unintended, <laughs> um, then you'll enjoy this too.